Okay, with regards to this MS1500, it's more on halal. Okay? Halal, and it's only meant for Muslim dietitian, dietitians. Okay? So, for non Muslim, it would be good. If you take it, it would be good because you know, uh, halal certification is something is worldwide taking it. So, it's the same with apple, if it's food, can be consumed by Muslim, everybody can consume. Right? If it is food which is can consume by non Muslim, uh, not all Muslims can consume. Right? So this means that what is more important in MS1500 putting emphasis on lawful. Eh? Lawful. I'm sure everybody who is producing uh, foods, it has to be hygiene. Right? So that's where the concept of um, halal, uh, halalan, right? is that have something which is very lawful and good. Right? That is why in the verse of our Quran, says, Ya Ayuan Nas, that's why it starts with yeah, you are nice. Oh mankind. Eh, oh mankind. That means that all mankind wants to eat. Anybody here don't want to eat? Eh, that's why it's always say somebody says that my living is all about eating. So anyway, I will try to highlight eh, what are the dangers. Because in terms of lawful, okay, in Islam it's still the same. Right? Uh, so once that uh, the changes were made, it's just it's not a technical change, but it's just putting an emphasis on terminologies and also incorporating and uh, putting re-emphasis of MS1514 and MS1480. MS1514 it is meant for HCCP, right? And MS1480 meant for GMP. So these are the things that you do. So I'm going to highlight you some of the things. And the same thing is that they are trying to refine back all the certification uh, reference documents, the MPPH and HAS. So this is where developed by Jakim itself. So one which is developed by the Department of Standards of Malaysia is only MS1500. Okay, the intention of Falan certification is that, remember I said, for Muslim dietaries. Okay, and it's be halal, we mean perceivable. Huh? That means that lawful in accordance with Al-Quran, Hadith and all that. Okay? And it's Toyiba, so this is where wholesome, safe, nutritious and quality. And you know that nowadays, foods are GMO. Right? So when it's GMO, so one of these, uh, so a lot of disease may come from foods. And normally food disease are all uh, waterborne disease. Right? Waterborne disease. Uh, so this is where you have to be more careful on that. Okay, because it's GMO derivative, so that means that so that means the other point is that it's nutritious, right? So, say for example, if you eat jajan, you know jajan, <laughs> so so it's, yeah, you can, you can uh, it's not really nutritious now, right? It's just feeling. All right, to so that, all right. So that's why if you look here. So the measure certification and uh, certificates is that it's farm to table. Uh, it's farm to table. Alright, so that means that then in Islam, any source is forbidden, what happened to them is forbidden. And what is forbidden is, is handful. Is handful. So if it's clearly, it's that one is, um, what should I say, uh, pork. Right? So, you know pig has got many names? Pig, hog, right? All that. Right? There are more than 10 names you call pig. Right? Uh, and the other one is alcohol. Right, not much. Right, so it's very few things now. Right, so basically for Muslim, uh, we talk about uh, the food is that we're talking about farm to table. All right, and then food products, okay, which is not as it is. Uh, and then the things that good quality and genuine. Okay, say for example for baby products, as much as possible, we have genuine. Okay, so we do not want to have a false growth to the children, especially our child and all that. And what do you mean as farm to table? If you look in contact elementaries, so it's farm to table. Some say it's farm to fork, farm to table. So these are the things. So what a lot of issues happens to Malaysia certification program is on the additive you apply. Eh? The additives. Actually, the additive makes the most problem. Eh? Most companies tend to fail higher certification because the additive is not being declared. And you don't know the source. Okay, so whoever which is Food manufacturers we take note of that. Okay? The emulsifiers, the preservatives, yeah, please take note of it. 
Right? The other thing is that is on handling, food handling. I'm sure to all food handlers, right? Say for example, if you are food handlers, you are required to have, uh, to have a typhoid injection, or they call it TY2 injection, right? Uh, because all contamination of food comes from your from your hand. That's why we used to say that okay, the personal hygiene is hand, hand, hand washing. Is this hand washing? No, this is hand rubbing. <laughs> All right. Uh, so it depends on what sort of detergent that you use. Uh, that's why they call it a scrub. You scrub your hands. So it depends on the detergent. Some detergents are alcohol based, and some are not alcohol based. So they have got some steps in that. Okay. So basically, all right, this is it. So if you see TV, you know TV? You know TV? Television? <laughs> you see ER? Emergency room, TV9. You see, one of the things that you see that uh, activities happens in OT. You know OT? Operations theater. How does that, what happens to the surgeons after he scrubs the hand? Why does he walk to the OT, walk by this way? Why didn't he walk this way? He will walk his hand upwards. Why? Never mind, I ask, I answer. <laughs> okay? So this is a process of rinsing the water. Right, so that means that once the water, the excess water comes down, because you are working with your finger. If you walk this way, the excess water will touch your hands. This is where we can lead to infection. So that is the same thing. What happens in food industry? After scrubbing your hands, if you walk to your food section, it has to be this way, right? Because we want to rinse the excess water downwards. Okay, man? right? So basically, these are some of the issues that we require to look into it. All right. The next thing is there, okay, so if you look at the interactions, okay, these are all the same, the basic things are the same. So the, the mother to all her certification is MS1500, right? So MS1500, and then this is where generated by, this is where generated by Jakim, right? That is MPPHM, we call it Manual Procedure Procedure Halal Malaysia, and this is Halal Assurance. And then everything will lead to the, eh, the basic reference is Al Quran, Hadith, Ishma, and Qiyas, and sometimes they have got verification to the fatwa. Okay, so all these things will have to be okay. And other than that, so you have got cosmetic, and the other one, this is more on logistics. MS2440 is on logistics, you've got three parts. Right? Uh, that also will subject to change because if MS1500 changes, amended, this will have to be added accordingly. Okay? So these are the interaction. So companies who want to seek certification, please look at catch all. Oh, these, these two documents you can download from the Jacken portal. But this one you have to buy from CD now. But no, 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 you buy from the Department Standards of Malaysia. And this one, you must write the right person. Alright? So that's why one of the things that one of the things that explain in Haran Assurance that you have to have the Haran executive. Right? A Haran executive knows about all these things. And uh, get clear? All right. To that, all right. So basically, an halal assurance it reflects this way. All right. So whether it's lawful or forbidden, well, lawful is halal, forbidden is haram. All right. So it depends on the source. Right? Anything source is haram, all the things will become haram. All right. And it also depends on the process. That's why one of the issues in the requirements they are talking about slaughtering. Yes, slaughtering. So the process of slaughtering, uh, it has to be right. And you cannot kill. You cannot kill the animals. You need to slaughter. Yeah? And then the people who performs, the slaughterer has to be a Muslim. It has to be a Muslim. Because we are talking here, we are talking about faith. You know faith? Not belief, eh? Faith. Faith and belief, different thing. Is there any difference between faith and belief? Other than the spelling? <laughs> I'm going to answer my question and answer that. Okay, belief is just a belief. And faith is inside. Right? So it's two different things. Right? So basically, here is putting emphasis on faith. Okay, so drop the slaughterer, okay, has to be a Muslim. And he knows what he's talking about. Right? Uh, right? Not Malay, eh? Muslim. Malay and Muslim is two different things, my dear. Right? So Malay is the. Eh? Malay is the cleanse. Eh? Muslim is the faith. It's the religion. Right. 
And then it thinks that you need some kind of documentation because you need evidence. The moment you say certification, they require some kind of documentation. And documentation will reflect the requirements, whether it's stated, implied, or obligatory. Very clear? So that's why I say one of the things, if you show for halal assurance is for food, that means that obligatory, you need to fulfill food act, food regulations. And as well, if it's an animal base, so you need to fulfill the veterinary act, animals act. So this is the shoot. So all these things will be mentioned. That's why if you see her, so we're here, when it comes to that. So that is why uh, in MS 15, 1500, they will talk about sauce. Okay. This, anything we start there, what is the problem that it is animals? Okay. The rest, maybe it's not that, that difficult. If it's animal derivatives. Right. And the next thing is that, the processes. So that's why you need to have process. Because here later on, you need to identify the HCP. They call it HCP, Highlight Critical Points. Right. I'm sure some of you have already got it. They know about it, Highlight Critical Points. All right. And then the people has to be a Muslims. At least, say for example, like in Johor, all right, at least you have to have four people. All right. Next thing is that, all right, so that's why the Halal Abel concept is still the same. And the verse that I read to you just now, all right, so this is the thing. Don't follow the evil sanctions because they are truly your enemy. Okay, enemy. Right, so actually, life, okay, we always resist to life. The reason why we don't do something because we resist to do it, that's all. And if you obey, you'll be fine. Right, uh, eh? so you have, that's why you must be an obedient, remember? We always say to our children, you must be an obedient child. But we always resist. Right? We always want to do against. Right? Uh, against. Alright. So to that, so what <coughs> what changes we made? So here are the changes we made. So remember, as I said, reference documentation. So re they have reinforced the terminology used in MS1500. One of the things that difference between Sama and Sertu. Right? Sama means it's for skin. Sertu means it's a process of uh, what they call it cleansing. And it is a cleansing process. So one of the things that you need to wash is using muddy water. Uh, muddy water or sometimes we call it earth water. You know why? Uh, if you attend my course, I will tell you why. <laughs> well, one of the elements is that an earth, your earth, uh, it has got an element of antiseptic. So inside the earth, there are, there are a few bacteria it acts as an antiseptic, yeah? antiseptic component. Right. Uh, okay, if I show you the hydrocarbons and all that, it takes a long time. Lah. As I said, please enter my course and I will tell you. <laughs> right. So I'm trying to write a course because sometimes the non Muslims don't understand. So the, some Muslims, they also don't understand. Right. Not just say non Muslims don't understand, some Muslims don't understand as well. Huh? You see? So it's not wrong. It's better to learn. That's why people say you must understand before you are being understood. The next is that they refined MPPHM. Now it's up to 55th edition. Right? And at the same time, we have to refine HS, HSS, other assurance system. Now it's to the second edition. They reinforce. This is more on technical documents. This is the okay, the certification procedures. Okay, how much it costs, what is the fees, is all. And here is telling you all about the requirements. To any auditors that comes and audit you, so they will follow this. Uh, the certification will follow this. And, all right. Then if you look in terms of the requirements, it's something to do. Okay, so again. All right, so I uh, forgot to change the right? All right, what's important here, right, the changes here, one is incorporating the terminology called sub two. Right? And he has got guidelines. It's also free. Huh? No, it's cool about jacket. Everything free. <laughs> and everything is cheap. Right? So we give you all the guidelines. Got guidelines also don't want to follow. But what more you want to tell me? <laughs> right? Everything is there. We give you A to Z. Not enough. We got ceiling. But certification is to be done for jacket. It's not by us. Alright? So because according to TDA, the Description Act, only jacket has got the authority to run. Eh? The certification. Okay, clear? Yeah. Alright. So, therefore, that's one thing. And the other thing is that they incorporate MS1514 and MS1480. Uh, they re emphasize uh, 
there is my sign. Just one thing. Eh? So that means that they are more reinforcing on terminology. The other one is that, okay, they are reinforcing on training. Ah, uh, training. So it's just like if you want to take ISO 9000, 14,000, 18,000, what, eh? all the zen, 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 zen. Right? So it's all about training. So if you have a this track of training, okay. That's why you must be friend with us, Siri STS. You are here to help you. Your business is no money, no talk. But ours is no talk, no money. <laughs> so I have to get all my courses to go out and do training. And talk and talk. Right? Uh, okay? So anyway, this is the process. Right? Until you get that certificate. And, uh, so it's all about training now. And so remember, if you train, then you know. If you don't train, you don't know. As simple as that. Right? So don't worry now. My Siri training is cheap. And the most valuable. Uh, a little bit more promotion, huh? Okay, that's why we do it for you right here. Okay, so anyway, so that's the training. Because this is meant for Halal Executive and his internal Halal Committee. Uh, because in HSA, in Halal Assurance Program, we've got two type of people. One, we call it uh, Halal Executive. And the other one is IHT, Internal Halal Committee. So these people need training. In the past, there is no free emphasis on training. Uh, but now they have training. And also nowadays, please, eh, please. Eh, because you got a lot of bogus training providers. So that's why Jakim eh, has got some accreditation to all the training providers. Eh, so I'm one of the training providers eh, accredited by Jakim. Eh, so please come and see and talk to us. Eh. We are very professional. Talk to us, ask, ask as much as you can. And eh, clear all your doubts before you attend our course. Right. So basically, the changes in MS 1400 no much different. It's just reinforcing of certain things, all right, and to make it more complete. 